information from Muslim communities around the country, I'm sorry, I'm not buying that it's just a select few. Is it all? No, but it is an overwhelming majority that believe in what the Koran says, and their silence is deafening when they do not stand up and speak out and take back their religion. Uh, we're, we're trying to, as Donald Trump says, make America great again, take back your religion. And we don't see that, so their silence tells me that they must support uh, what the terrorists are doing. But, Gary, thank you for your call. Do appreciate it. Uh, let's try to get everybody in here. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll take a break. And, Chuck, don't go away. And the others will uh, line up your calls, 855-400-SAVAGE. Lou Pate here with you. And if you're just joining us, I just read from uh, Dr. Savage's latest tome, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. That segment I read in Chapter 2, it, it focuses on Hillary Clinton. Did you know she's in bed? Did you know she's been cozying up with uh, Muslim groups as well as the, the groups on Wall Street? I mean, come on. She's promising to make hearing aids cheaper if she's elected president. She just said that yesterday. Is there no one that this repugnant human being will not pander to? Oh, man. Lou Pate here with you in for Dr. Savage. And remember to go to michaelsavage.com and sign up for free for the Michael Savage newsletter. Follow him on Twitter, at A Savage Nation, and on Facebook. Remember, there are numerous Michael Savage books, I mean, um, Facebook pages, and what they are is they're appreciated, but they're from fans. His page is the one with his book, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. Lou Pate here with you on The Savage Nation. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. Lou Pate in for Dr. Savage, the home of government. Zero, no borders, no language, no culture. And, of course, uh, follow all things Dr. Savage on uh, michaelsavage.com and on Twitter at a Savage Nation and Facebook, the one with his book on it, uh, 855-400-SAVAGE. If you're just joining us, uh, we've been talking about U.S. spying on Israel. I was watching the news on TV and they were uh, during the break, and they were saying the NSA accidentally spied on congressmen while spying on Israel. Why are you spying on Israel? Why are you trying? They weren't spying on Israel, as I mentioned a few times. They were trying to take down uh, Prime Minister Be Benjamin Netanyahu. This was back in March, prior to his election, prior to his historic speech. They were trying to undermine the man. They weren't just curious about what he was doing. Um, in the meantime, they're in bed with Iran. And what are they doing? Firing on us. If you think terrorism, if you think ISIS is not a problem, I implore on you, the listeners, to Dr. Savage's show here, the U.K. Express, ISIS plotting to slaughter thousands in 2016 and bid to spark huge final battle with the West. Uh, if you think that these people are going to go away, this is a generational struggle, folks. It's a generational struggle, and we get caught up here in the, the minutia of political correctness, trying to make sure everybody's happy. Everybody can't be happy all the time. These are serious times. They want us dead, and they don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. They don't care any. They don't care if you're an American Muslim. They think you're a sellout. Uh, let's get back to the phones here on Savage Nation. Chuck, WJR, welcome to the Savage Nation. How are you? Thank you very much. You have a great show, and I already have... Michael Savage's book. It's a great Oh, you love it? Yeah, I love it. Were you hooked on those first nine words like I was? Yes, I was. <laughs> and it's very, very true. So I'll get to the point. What it is is that he spies on Israel. They spy on us. But you mean to tell me we don't have any intel in Jordan, Syria, or anywhere else <laughs> in this country where before this woman comes here and ends up killing people in California, we don't have any intel on them? So he has intel on me and you. Me, you, and Bibi Netanyahu. You and I are in good company, but yes, uh, 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 Malik and Farouk seem to slip through. Go figure. Excellent point, Chuck. You're listening to The Savage Nation. Join The Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7287. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. 
Good afternoon. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Lou Pate filling in for Dr. Savage. He will return tomorrow. In the meantime, I encourage you to check out michaelsavage.com, and there you can sign up for a uh, free uh, the Michael Savage newsletter. Again, michaelsavage.com on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, don't underestimate the power of Twitter at a Savage Nation. And as I said earlier, the Facebook page. Um, it is the one that has Dr. Savage's latest book on it, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. I've read from portions of it already. I've cited uh, some examples of it. It's definitely something you want to give as a gift for the new year. It doesn't have to be for a holiday. It doesn't have to wait for a birthday. Uh, the sooner you get it, the sooner you're going to enlighten people about what is coming down the road uh, with the tail end of the Obama administration, uh, what to expect from a possible, uh, God forbid, uh, Hillary Clinton administration, and everything that's going on as far as religion around the world, uh, the Pope, ideology, uh, uh, and the demagogues out there. It is truly a must read. You definitely want to check it out. Government Zero, no borders, no language, no culture. If you're just joining us, we talked about the U.S. spying on Israel and accidentally, as they call, that's a quote, accidentally spying on our own congressman. Again, this was an effort to take down Benjamin Netanyahu. It failed. Um, meanwhile, the administration in bed with Iran, they're testing rockets. One landed 15 yards from, from an American carrier. And ISIS in the world is a problem, okay? <laughs> the whole world is going nuts today about Bill Cosby. That's nonsense, okay? And others are saying, well, why don't they focus on, on Bill Clinton? Uh, you say focus on Bill Clinton, they should. Why? Bill Clinton is married to a woman who is running for president, okay? Cosby is a footnote in comedic history. Bill Clinton is married to a woman who might be president, okay? And he has been alleged to be a serial rapist. If he becomes the first husband, for lack of a better term, and she has stuck with him through all of this, what does that say about her judgment? Let's face it. He's been fooling around with her since the day they stepped away from that church and got married. And she has stuck with him because she was using him for power. She's a repugnant human being. He is the scum of the earth. But she will do anything and she will put up with anything in order to maintain power. That is what it is all about. That is what Hillary Clinton is all about. She'll get in bed with the Wall Street bankers. She'll get in bed with the Muslims if she has to. And when I say Muslims, I mean the terrorists. Okay, Because to me, Islam is a cancer in the world. And we have this woman who will pander to anybody, get in bed with anybody anybody except bill that is in order to hold on to power that's why back in 92 she sat next to him with that interview when the jennifer flowers thing broke and said i stand by him and after monica Lewinsky, i stand by him because if she didn't the marriage falls apart his political career falls apart and she loses power don't you understand that that's what it's all about the woman is a nut for power so she's not going to focus on isis she's going to focus on isis less than obama has and what do we have what are we focusing on here in the united states a salon.com um, article that was uh, picked up from alternate and i quote white men must be stopped the very future of mankind depends on it for 500 years they've exploited their fellow man and plundered the planet it's time they rein themselves in. End quote. Are you kidding me? As Dr. Savage points out in Gover Government Zero, no borders, no language, no culture. You know, let's look over, let's look past engineering feats, uh, bridges, buildings going up 100 stories, penicillin, modern technology, the telephone. All of this he talks about. Yeah, the white man is so evil that nothing, of course, some mistakes have been made along the way, but nothing good has come, the left feels, from white men. All of the accomplishments, all of the, the um, luxuries and technology that we enjoy today, it comes from capitalists, capitalists that the left hates. It, it is truly an amazing phenomenon. They always like to fall back on slavery. And slavery of the black man was a heinous thing, and it was a heinous thing for hundreds of years. But they're all dead. Okay, all the slaves are dead. There's nothing we can do. 
to make them feel better. It was a horrible thing that they had to go through. Why doesn't the left in this world care about slaves today? Hmm? There's slavery going on in the world today. Again, enter ISIS. Okay, ISIS has sex slaves. Dr. Savage talked about it yesterday. Okay, there was the issue of... Um, in the New York Post, it was an exclusive, and I, and I quote, Islamic State ruling aims to settle. Who can have sex with female slaves? And I know he touched on that yesterday. It's truly repugnant in this world that you know, they pretend to care about everybody. They, they want us to apologize for things that ended 160, 170 years ago, but slavery that's going on right now with the enemy who threatens us closest to home, they don't want to have anything to do with it. They want to pretend, like the president does, that... It is not in existence. Muslim fundamentalist terrorism does not exist. Do you think Hillary Clinton's going to take it any further? Her husband wanted to have a bunch of cartoonists thrown in jail. And, you know, after I read that in uh, Dr. Savage's book, I went on the Internet and looked for the cartoons that were published back in, I was 2004, 2005, uh, by the Gilad Pastin. And I, I watched the cartoons, and I laughed. And they were all depicting um, uh, Mohammed. In, in various ways. And it was funny. And you know what came up at the end? Since it's a Danish newspaper, there was a Danish flag. And then the, the words appeared on the screen. Freedom of speech. Let's get back to the phones here on the Savage Nation. 855-400-SAVAGE. Let's go out to the West Coast and visit our friends there. Bill, KSFO, the home of Dr. Savage. How are you? Welcome to the Savage Nation. Hey, uh, first of all, i got to totally agree on your last uh, speech that you just gave on the uh, a number of topics. My God, it's hard to imagine that most people are not even you know, saying exactly the same thing or hearing the message. It's so common sense, everything you just said. My point was, uh, of course, the government, our current government spies on, is spying on Israel. They spy on their own people. Uh, whoever says anything against the regime that's in power currently they have no problem spying on their own people. So why are we surprised that they're spying on Israel? It's ridiculous. Well, you know, we know from a few years ago that the Obama administration had uh, tapped the phones of the Associated Press, and I'm sure they have done that to many other people. We know Cheryl Atkinson, from formerly with CBS, has uh, done incredible work and in, in documenting the, the nefarious uh, spying activities by the Obama administration. I read a piece of hers once where she tells her she's laying in bed at night in her home, and her computer just turned on by itself. And she's standing, laying there in bed, sitting up, watching somebody, you know, meander around her computer. This is not some 16-year-old Korean or Chinese kid messing around on the Internet, seeing if he can get into some woman's computer. I guarantee you this was some, some uh, representative of the government, Bill. Yes, and, and you know what? It's just these scumbags that are trying to stay uh, in control and in power. They're not in power to defend our civil liberties. They're not in power to defend the Constitution, which they were hired to do so. These people are scumbags. All right. Well, Bill, thanks for your call. Well said. Um, and you know what it is? They know they can't stay in power forever. That they know. They would love to. Look at Hillary Clinton, Secretary of State, carpetbagger senator from the state of New York, uh, first lady. Now she wants to be president. <laughs> I, I truly believe that Hillary Clinton hates the fact that she is a female. I really do. She's all, all women's rights and all of this baloney. We know about uh, her, her husband's history, which we'll talk a little bit later about Donald Trump highlighting on it, which uh, she drew first blood, so she made it a... Um she made it legitimate for him to go after her. I truly believe she hates the fact that she is a woman. In her warped mind, Hillary Clinton thinks, if I was not a woman, I would have been president already. If I was not a woman, I would not have to stay married to this idiot, Bill Clinton, for all of these years in order to hang on to power and put up with all of his stupid decisions. That's what I see. Um, she'll never admit it. Uh, let's check out the nation's capital. There must be some sane minds somewhere in there at WMAL. Andrew, people here, I got to tell you, not many. <laughs> That's why they have the river so close. You could jump over to Virginia. <laughs> oh, it's not much better there. Not much better. That's northern Virginia. That's that, 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 that's basically that's basically Russia. <laughs> All right. What I wanted to tell you is, I think we got to stop talking about ISIS this, ISIS that, and just say Muslims. I'm okay with that. Um, the problem is Islam, and we got to saddle up. We got a big military. 
big economy for now until Hillary becomes president, and we got to go in, and we got to take over these all of them, all of them, 